what are we doing now? So today we'll be looking at the positioning of the visual pen on the Python Turtle board, the directions in which you'll be moving, and also the angles. A robot will be able to move in different angles and leaving behind a trail that will be drawing the graphics for us. My system is the Windows system, as I said before. So I will start it one more time. I will click on the Start button and I will scroll down to the letter P. That's how we do it on Windows. And we are programming with the Windows 10 system. So if you notice, I will have Pyth I have different versions of Python that I've been using all the while. This is the new one we just installed. So if I click on this arrow going down, I will see different options here to choose from. And you notice I said it's the idle we are using. So I will be clicking this first one, I-D-L-E, for Python 3.10. At the time we are programming, that's the version we just installed. So I will click on it. And there we go. We have a um, shell, so if I go here on the file, at the far left hand corner, I will simply, you see this is the menu bar, I will click on file, new file. So this is where I will be writing my program. And it's like this, to make things very easy for us, the first thing I will be doing is I will do file save as and as i told you before it's good to have a folder where all the programs are so here i am i'm going to documents where i created the the last folder and i will be looking for my new list so you see the last time we had lesson one i will simply call this the lesson two so this is my lesson two and I will save it. So right now I'm good to go. The first thing I'll do is I'll import my turtle. As I said, that's the first thing we do for Python turtle. Once I import it, I can start creating something. So I'll go ahead and do my robot one as usual. Robot and turtle dot total that's how i initiate so there's one thing we'll be learning today which is commenting if you press the diamond sign you have this this annotation so you can say creating a new virtual pen my interpreter will not read anything that comes behind this diamond and it helps me to know what I've been doing on my program so when I come back after a long time I will know exactly what I've been doing so that's it so creating a new virtual pen this is my robot and if I simply run this program so running again is you go to run and you say run module and it's already safe so that will not have any difficulties I say okay and directly, I'll have my robot standing at the middle of the board. Today, we want to look at how we can give this robot instructions to draw graphics for us. And this robot, as I call it, or the virtual pen, moves forward, backwards, and it can turn around in different, in different angles. So it leaves a trail behind it, which is the graphic. So we can always pick up, pick it up and drop it back if we don't want anything to be drawn in a particular position. So I will take this one off for now and I will just take this one. I will go back to my program. So I'm right here. I click at the end of the line and I say enter. And what I'll be doing is I'll give my robot... A shape 
size so if i want to give it a shape size i will just give it one 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 just to make it a bit um big there and i'll give my robot one a color a color let's say i like to use my red so i will just leave it at red so look at what will happen to my robot now run model and i will have a red robot or a virtual pen standing there so now i'll take it off again and i'm back here i'll come back in here i told you there are different ways we can represent our turtle so i'll use the turtle this time so so you see it's always small you write it small if you write it big it will not function so if i run it now i'll have a tiny turtle standing there now we want to look at the different directions a turtle can go so let's go away now i will tell my turtle i will give my robot first of all a pen size just to give it a, a thicker line so i will say pen size and i'll just give it three you can give it a number from one to ten and i'll give it a speed so this is a speed it will help my it will help me see the demonstration of what i'm doing i'll make it as slow as possible so i'll just give it one now if i tell my robot one to go forward 100 pixels now i'll make it i'll do a comment here the my computer screen is a is an hd screen which is 1920 by one eight one zero eight pixels so it means along this line like this this is one thousand nine twenty pixels and i just want to move 100 pixels and you remember the turtle is always standing in the middle of the screen so if i run this turtle now You see turtle move 100 pixels to the right now let me go back down if I tell my turtle right now to so I can tell my turtle to turn my robot one to turn left 90 degrees that's an angle so you see my turtle moving forward and turning left so if i do this this particular thing if i do it four good times as i said in the last position one so let me take this comment away from here because i don't need it so i'll just do the same thing I'll just do it four times and then I'll have a, a square. Let me close this one again and go back here. So now we see that was a square. Now there is a practice I like to do. If I run this program one more time, you will notice something about the title of the, you see here it is written python turtle graphics i want to change this it means i have to take control of this screen so i'll close it up and now there's one thing we'll be learning now which is the screen i'll just call it the board so this is my board it's equal to turtle i'm calling the library and this time i'm using another method inside this which is called the screen Take note of this is a method inside the total library. This is a method inside the total library. If you notice, they are all written starting with big letters and you should always do it like that else it will not work. So if I just do screen, that's how I create my screen. I take control of the screen. And right now, I can actually give my board 
a color so this this um, board the screen method has method has um, um, one other function you call the back color so I'll just give it a color like the light gray it takes any form of English colors you can think of so if I give it a light gray I can actually give it a title now board dot title and I'll call it the Nulis stem community great so now if you notice i have my screen now i've taken control of my screen if i run it oh sorry there's something i did not close it here that's the next thing we'll be talking about errors so now i'm fine so if i run it now i have a, a gray screen now my top my topic my title is Nulli stem community and i have my square so this is it for this particular lesson i will go ahead to look at the will go further in the next lesson just to keep the lessons a bit short so that's it for now and see you next time